Imagine a society where no one keeps their promises. Would such a society be sustainable? Would you even consider living in such an environment? According to Mark Burgess, the inventor and the proponent of promise theory, promises are at the core of civilizations and social living. In this video, we'll introduce you to this theory and its wonderful insights. In the early 2000s, computer scientist Mark Burgess proposed promises as a way to organize complex adaptive systems. It was initially proposed in the context of managing interactions within and among complex technical systems and services. However, it was later found to be very useful in social and organizational contexts as well. Essentially, promise theory suggests that making and keeping promises as a way to organize complex adaptive systems in which different constituent entities tend to exercise agency and operate independently. In this way, while different agents of the system may act in self-interest, they also in the process learn to cooperate towards the fulfillment of larger goals of the collective. If you think about it, promises are the cornerstone of every service in a society. Let's consider an example here. Let's say you want to commute to work and you take public transportation to do so. You turn up at the train station and at the appointed time, the train shows up and takes you to your destination. That is a promise made and a promise kept. Behind that promise are a myriad of other societal promises that must be made and kept. Consider another example. Right this moment, you are perhaps watching this video on a device. Can you think of a variety of promises that needs to be made and kept in order for you to be able to do that? Start with the device that you're watching this on. Think about the mobile internet or Wi-Fi service that supports your internet access. Think about the routers the internet service providers, and the promises they all make, keep, and depend on in order to be functional. Thinking in this way, you can see the functioning of the entire society as a web of promises that are made and kept. It's also interesting to note that in each of the examples stated earlier, the individual actors are all going about serving their own goals and self-interest, and yet by making and keeping the promises effectively, they also support the larger goal of creating a functional society. Where the society is functional and thriving, you will find that the promises are made and kept effectively. Societal dysfunctions, on the other hand, represent promises not being kept or simply that no one is making any promises in a certain essential sphere of life. Hence, they represent an opportunity for entrepreneurship, government policies, or other forms of interventions. Jeff Sassner, the author of Designing Delivery, emphasizes on the difference between promises and contracts. And he calls out that highly agile and functional organizations are built on top of promises, not on contracts. Jeff calls out that while contracts are rigid and inflexible, promises are flexible and adaptable to the needs of the customers. Most importantly, while contracts are static and unresponsive to the changing needs of the people on the ground, Promises driven by feedback are fluid, responsive, and embraces changing circumstances. To conclude, let me leave you with these three questions to reflect on. What promises do you represent in the context of your family, your organization, and the society at large? How well are you making and keeping your promises? What promises do your team or your organization represent? And how well are they making and keeping them? Thank you. Until we meet again, this is Joe Anthony for Unplex Vlogs.